Hello guys, today we are playing a 2v2 match on the beautiful map Anorian in BFME 1 on the patch 2.22. Everybody is picking random and also sorry for not uploading in the last four days. I was very sick. I'm still sick as you can eventually hear in my voice, but the show must go on and we get to play double Rohan. Okay, so I gotta be honest, that's not the best combination in the universe because of the lack of diversity and possibilities in the mid to lead game, but... Rohan is a very solid faction at the beginning of the game because we will be able to recruit many more peasants from the farms. And our goal is to actually achieve a lot early game. So we, are a, we have an evil opponent at the top right and also at the bottom right. Okay, so it's double evil against the Riddermark. Okay, so Mary can capture those settlements and I'm gonna tell my ally to buy the middle camp. This way, my friends, we will win this day. Coordination is the key to victory, so you want to make sure that you're not doing the same thing like your ally does. So if you would go for, you know, stable both of us, the opponent has an Isengard, as you can see, and he will be able to counter us by just recruiting multiple and also Mordor, Iso Gollum. So it's a mordor Isengard combination, pretty solid combination in BFM1, and the matchup is not looking very good for us. And he also used Warchan, so in a situation like this, you don't want to fight against the Uruks. It would be a waste of time, because you cannot win the fight, that's not possible. Remember, Mordor can easily use Eye of Sauron, and then it will be double buff for the enemy units. Oh, look, you see? And that's why we should be trying to take down the settlement. So, just focus down the settlement, deal economical damage, because we cannot win the fight. Alright, more peasants are required, we will be building up the steeple, and hopefully, with a great horse micro, we might make something happen. We better do something! Oh man, guys, everybody in our home is sick. My wife is sick, my daughter is sick, and I'm also sick, you know? <laughs> but I miss making videos, guys. I miss playing Give Me games. And hopefully, you will enjoy this one. And hopefully, my voice, my sick voice, is not going to be too disturbing for you. Okay, so let's take down the settlement. And we can also use the Hobbit to kill some workers. So when it comes to the economical damage to the evil faction, you don't have to always kill the Lamer Mill. Because in many situations, you cannot even do that. That's why it's more important to actually try to kill the lumber mill workers. And Hobbit can one-shot them, which is very good. So against orcs we can fight, that's no problemo. Uh, for the peasants, they should be able to win this fight, no problemo. And also not cash floating. So we gotta build the steeple. And hopefully my ally is okay, you know, because he didn't confirm. He need to buy the middle camp. Because we will need some archers later on. As we are talking, Mordor will have eventually some trolls, and also Isengard will have many, many pikemen on the field. That means in long terms, we won't be able to win this match without having any archers or elven warriors. So actually, we dealt great amount of damage to Isengard's economy. We destroyed one of the mills and also killed all the workers from the second mill. And also, Mordor is gonna lose all the workers. My ally was also able to cloak the Hobbit, which is very important. And, you know, Isengard's eco is a bit better early game than Mordor. So if you can deal damage to Mordor, it's going to be extremely efficient. And look his piece. Like, he has almost nothing in his piece. And we can also now use the Rohirrim to creep as much as we can. What we can try to do is we can try to skip the heal from the spellbook and go for the Elven Alliance Special Summon. And with them, we can actually go for a base rush. And I feel like I want a micro today, you know? I'm gonna recruit actually many, many horses to keep rushing the enemy base all the time. Do you guys, actually, do you guys see how much pressure my Hobbit is doing there? It's crazy. Like, how many workers we killed? It's more than killing one meal. Every single worker is recruiting costs them 25 resources. So we killed it bare minimum eight of them, you know, maybe even more than that. Gollum cannot fight this. Fight this. Uh, Hobbit is stronger than Gollum in a one-on-one -on -one situation, and also Hobbit is level two. We have the new farm. We are here to protect our lands. Drive them out. Okay, and uh, Naisu, 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 Naisu. I want also, I want to also creep the troll layer, and I can show you guys how to do that. So when you want to creep a troll layer with the horses, especially with Rohan, it's a bit more tricky because Gondor's Citadel is able to shoot, but Rohan's Citadel isn't able to shoot. So you gotta be a bit careful about that. We wanna we wanna lure him away with one of the Rohirrim, and as the troll is following us, we can use the second Rohirrim to kill the layer. But we might eventually have to build a tower, 
if the troll is gonna follow us, you know? But it's okay, we will at least get some power points, and power points are essential in the beginning, in the mid game, but also in the lead game. Okay, be careful. Hey! Oh, that was close, actually. <laughs> okay, I mean, losing Rohirrim is not a good thing, so we can now build the tower and also kill this. Yes, Lord Siam, we gotta peel. Again, we will be skipping the hill and go for the Elven Allies summon. Okay, we should be in a good spot. My ally was also buying the middle camp. That's very good. I know the mortal economy is not very good. So when we are actually fast, we can make some stuff happen. And as my ally has now the middle camp under his control, we can also use this and creep the troll at the bottom side. Now we don't have to bring him all the way to our castle. We can actually bring him to the middle camp. We can also demolish the well, because my ally has a well. And Rohan, you want to be efficient with your settlements. Because we have only 7 spots. Rohan has 7 spots, Isengard, Mordor have 8, and Gondor has 9. So we have every single settlement of yours is extremely important. And you want to make sure that you are using them wisely. Okay, I mean, we are actually getting really, really close to the power spike. Very good, very good, very good. And also we need later on some shields. The shields and blades, that's what we are looking for. Creep this as well. It's gonna bring us to two power points. Very good. And do not lose any Rohirrim though. That's very important. So we have four Rohirrim. That's the required number of Rohirrim you need to have to get the Horseman Shield purchased. And now we are buying also the Forge Blades. Okay, get the money. Very good. Nice, boys. Looking pretty good for us. Okay, the opening was using the Tainted Land, but it's okay. We are only one power point away from getting the Elven Ally Special Summon. Okay, nice so. Nice so, nice so, nice so. Very good, very good, very good. Okay, so now the shields, and then with the shields and blades. We can go. Oh, look at this. Would you look at this? Oh, thank you for feeding me, because he's not paying attention. Oh, I'm feeling bad for this. <laughs> nice so. I needed the power points. Um, kill the mill and get out. Not this way, go this way, please, don't leave! Oh my goodness, they were running it down, the Rohirrim are brave, you know? Sometimes the brave is not the best call, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I almost lost the level 3 Rohirrim, and in the meantime, my other Rohirrim is running it down. Okay, the good thing is, we are really close for the Elven Ally Summon, and now with the Blades and Shields, we can actually rush all the time. The battle awaits! Okay, the question is, what are we gonna do next? Are we gonna rush Mordor or are we gonna rush Isengard? The Isengard is some pikemen on the field, and I have not seen any trolls yet from Mordor. And even if he has one or two trolls, we can actually kill them with the elves. That's no problem, no? And I think we need to try to take down. When you play against Mordor as Rohan in a 2v2 matchup, uh, your goal is to kill his troll cage. That's not gonna only mean that he won't have any counter to your cavalry, but also that's gonna slow him down big time to recruit the drummer troll. He has only one troll, but we are really close. There we go now. We can call on the elves. There is no Orcon, as Nicholas would like to see. Oh, oh, he's gonna die, definitely. There is no chance he can survive this. Don't lose the Rohirrim, though, that's really important. And now we can go inside the jeans, boys. Let's go and try to deal this. Okay, rest in peace. Hello, darkness, my old friend. <laughs> We are actually broke, but he has the second troll, but it's okay. We can also kill this troll with the elves. It's very good. And then if we can take down this troll cage, it would be a huge achievement for us. He's busy dealing with the elves and he's gone. It's very good. Now he has no more trolls anytime soon. It means troll cage is undefended, unprotected, and we can destroy it. That's massive, by the way, guys. You don't even understand how massive this is. Now he needs to build it again and then recruit four trolls and my ally was actually healing me. Now we can, we don't need to go back to heal, we can actually go to the Isengard castle. Let's buy the heavy armor too and heal also economical damage, so use the mobility advantage you get. And this is not only creating enormous amount of pressure on the opening team, but also gives our ally a lot of time to skill and get an army worthy of the Riddermark. Hey, be careful. Oh, please don't die. Okay, got a micro around. Very important. And, you know, if you can take down the furnaces with industry on it, that's gonna be pretty nice. My ally has also... Oh, here's Saruman. I see you, Saruman. Okay, we gotta bail, boys. 
Oh, Fireball. Actually, he overkilled one of my Rohirrim. <laughs> he was aiming on the Rohirrim who was just getting killed by the Pikeman. It means the Fireball kind of got wasted. Now we can demolish this. Let's buy heavy armor to make them even stronger. And it's important to keep your Rohirrim alive. Very important because they are extremely expensive. So 420 for recruiting them and then every upgrade. 300 for the, uh, for the shields. 250 for the heavy armor, 350 for the forge plate. So, you know, long story short, extremely expensive units. And we know that Mordor is not ready yet. And we can rush him once again. We have also the heal now for the worst case scenario. Okay. Oh, he has troll kitsch once again, but it's okay. Um, I don't see any trolls yet on the field, and when we crush this eco, you know, when you kill the slaughterhouses from Mordor or the furnaces from Isengard, it's very good, because that's gonna delay them to get level 2 or level 3, which means more money for the opponent, but also uh, the base is gonna be much more tanky. When a, when a resource building from an evil faction hits level 3, it's gonna act like a tower. So basically, in, in late game, every single building inside the evil castle from Isengard or Mordor is going to shoot us down all the time. And us killing those slaughterhouses is so nice. They are rushing now the two beasts at the same time, boys. They don't know what to do. <laughs> they don't know what to do. We are rushing them at the same time. Let's go for a juicy trample. We have high level Rohirrim. We are rushing them at the same time, dude. Guys, am I playing out of my mind? Maybe all I had to do is actually be sick. Because my, my gameplay is sick right now. What is happening? <laughs> my ally doesn't need to play the game. We can actually win this in a 2v1 situation. Look at this. I am playing out of my mind right now, boys. Holy guacamole. I'm impressed by my own gaming skills in this game. Normally, I'm not a very good micro player. I'm actually more like a macro player. I can, you know, control many more, many more units at the same time. But when it comes to micro for one individual unit... Um... <laughs> As I almost said it, um, then I'm actually struggling. But in this game, dude, my micro is actually insane. What do you guys think about that? Let me know in the comments down below. Hey! Okay, he actually didn't aim for the one uh, heart or hit him. We have too many horses. I don't even know what is going on right now. Stay sharp. Onward. Swiftly. Okay, we gotta get out from here, boys. We gotta get out from here. Micro, 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 micro. Nice, nice, nice. We're in a good spot. And we have so much money, we can even recruit Aragorn now. I think I'm gonna recruit Aragorn and send him to the middle, you know? And then we can keep doing this all the time. The micro is very important. <laughs> oh my goodness. Dude, we actually crushed them both at the same time. That was kind of fun. And I missed to play like this. Dude, I'm 21 years old, guys. You had to see me when I, had like, when I was like 20 years old, you know what I'm saying? Now, with the each going up, 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 up all the time, your uh, skills are getting worse, worse, worse every single time. So in terms of game knowledge, I think I, there is not many, there are not many people in the world who have more knowledge about Diffie Me One than I do, but definitely more people in terms of microplay. Okay. Oh, here's a troll once again, but we have almost Alvin Warriors once again back up on the field. And we gotta avoid fighting the Saruman, though. That's very important. My ally is also supporting us with Theorin, the king of Rohan. And, oh, be careful. <laughs> and now we can go just again to the Isengard base. We don't have to go do, do anything else. We're gonna rush them at the same time once again. Two of the horses for the mortal base and two of them for the Isengard base. And they are confused. They don't know what they are doing. They don't know. The Isengard is like, what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to defend myself? Am I supposed to defend my ally? Because the thing is, if he doesn't defend his ally, the mortal player, he will be losing his troll cage yet, one, yet once again. Okay. Nice. So don't, don't. We can crash this, though. You have Theoden leadership from our ally. And in the meantime, we are also crashing the mortal base. Dude, I am playing on... Dude, I'm so happy right now, guys. I'm so happy that you will get the chance to see this. And nobody can tell me then, Shanks, your micro is good, but my your micro is not... Eh, I don't know about your micro. <laughs> because I've seen these comments a couple of times. And now you cannot complain about my micro anymore, can you? I think that's going to be also fun for you to get... Fun for you guys to watch. Just kill the troll cage once again. And it means this Mordor doesn't get to play the game, by the way. Hey, level 9, Rohirrim, don't I? This Mordor doesn't get to play the game, boys. He has not gotten any drummer trolls on the field for the entire game. Because we keep shutting him down all the time. We can kill this, even with our horses. Our horses are... Oh, my... Okay. Talking about macro, by the way. I was not paying attention to my Aragorn. And he died so quickly, what the heck? 
even with Andre Sword, there was kind of surprising. Lord, I mean, Lord is the most cost efficient hero in the game. And by the way, guys, oh, Blow has been defeated. He left the game. He's like, I'm out of here. I'm done with this game. Dude, guys, let me know about my performance in the comment section down below. I'm very actually curious about your opinion. I think I played this really, really well. Almost perfect. Almost flawless. I mean, losing Aragorn and one of the Rohirrim was not the best thing. But other than that, I think my gameplay was actually quite sick. And yes, now we can rush the Isengard beast, finish the Mordor beast. And kill the level 3 for... Okay, Spartan has been defeated as well. GG well bleak, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like. And also subscribe for more videos like, like this in the future. And you have to do that because I'm sick. I'm still recording games for you guys. I will see you next time. Until then, take care of yourselves. Keep hitting like a truck. And as always, see beyond standards. Peace out.